Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use ChatGPT for coding problems. ChatGPT is becoming more and more popular, but to use it for coding problems, we gotta stick to some basic principles. Let's get started and see what those basic principles are. As I said, this video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use ChatGPT for your coding problems. ChatGPT has become of great interest to many people, especially to the coders. It is an AI-based software which is capable of writing codes for a wide range of problems in a wide range of fields. But is ChatGPT always reliable? How can we make sure the answers given by the ChatGPT is correct and applicable to our problems? One thing that I have noticed is that you can't ask ChatGPT general questions when it comes to coding. You have to be very specific about what you want. If you have a big problem, it would be better to first split your coding problem into smaller pieces and then ask ChatGPT to help you with each piece. I will give you guys one example in this video and in a later video, I will use another example to show you guys what I mean. In this video, I'm gonna go back to the video I made a while ago, which was tackling the timeout error in Overleaf. The timeout error happens when you have a big file that has a lot of images in PNG formats in them. To reduce the size of the images and make the error go away, I came up with changing the formats of the images into PDF. You could draw this conclusion from the warning that Overleaf generates. When it says due to a large number of high-res images, the timeout error happens. So now in this video, I will show you guys that you cannot ask ChatGPT a very general question and expect it to write you up a code that works for your problem. Instead, you gotta be very specific with what you ask ChatGPT. I once asked it how I can solve a timeout error in Overleaf. Then I started asking it more specific questions which led me to the answer that could help. Let's go to ChatGPT where I show you guys what I have asked. So you could see that this is the first question that I asked. I just asked it, I am being faced with a timeout error in Overleaf. Can you help me solve that? And these are the solutions that ChatGPT generated. Optimize your code or use a different compiler or upgrade your Overleaf plan, which means I have to pay for it, but I don't want to pay for it. And also contact Overleaf support. None of these solutions are really practical. So what can I do now? One way would be to ask ChatGPT as specific questions as possible. We know that one viable way to solve the timeout problem is to change the format of images in our files from PNG or JPEG to PDF. Therefore, that is what we have to ask ChatGPT, the best way to read the images from a directory and convert them into PDF format. Let's see what happens when we ask specific questions. Here is what I have asked. I have asked a bunch of questions. So first I just said hi, and then I said I have a bunch of PNG images that I would like to save them as PDF files. And then I said, can you write me up a piece of code that would do that in MATLAB? This is the piece of code that ChatGPT wrote me. Let's execute that in MATLAB and see if it works. I'm gonna copy the code, go to MATLAB, and just copy paste it here. I have to first specify the directory, which is going to be in the current directory. And yes, let's run and see what happens. Let's first save it. I'm going to put chat GPT, but test. The other one is the one that works, but I'm going to put test. But here's the thing, I am right does not save images in PDF format. So what can I do? I just go back there and I say, I am right does not support the PDF format. And it recognizes that it made a mistake and it apologizes for it. So it just replaces I am right with print. So let's just copy this and see if we could run it again. Again, I have to change the directory. And now it says there is error in print. So what can I do? I just go back there and ask ChatGPT. I think there is an error with print comment that you are using. 
can you make sure you are writing up the right code and it again apologizes and it corrects the code to this one now let's see if this one works I've already copied this and it's here in the main chat GPT code and let's run it and see if it works let me first clean the window and let's also clear all the variables let's clean the window again sorry okay now this is the final code that chat GPT had generated let's run it and as you can see it doesn't show any error and as you can see on the left side the images are being saved in PDF format showing that the last piece of code that was written by chat GPT is correct you can see that we didn't have any error and the images have been saved in PDF format let's go have a look at these images so this is the first image this is the PDF format of it you have to also check the quality because sometimes when you save in PDF format the quality goes down this is the second image in PDF and this is the second image in PNG and yeah I think it's working very well uh, you just have to be very specific with what you want to ask chat GPT and in three stages I was able to get to what I want and you have to have some knowledge beforehand about what you want to do you have to have some knowledge about the problem and you have to split your problem into smaller pieces and you have to help chat GPT with what you wanted to help you with overall it could be very helpful because it would save you the PDF formats automatically and it would read the images automatically and you don't have to do anything but again uh, you have to split your problem into smaller pieces and you have to have some knowledge beforehand to nudge if you will to nudge the chat GPT towards what you wanted to produce for you and that's about it thank you so much for watching this video I hope you liked it and you were able to get something out of it if you liked it I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends thank you so much and have a nice day